What's up guys, it's Jack from Go Jack Outdoors and today it's actually Sunday, it's been a really busy day and I wanted to take a minute to make a video for you guys talking about the Okie Homesteading Expo and I'm actually going to plant some giant tomatoes. So the Okie Homesteading Expo, Kevin from Hidden Heights Farm and Dutch from Keeping It Dutch actually put it on. It's really cool. The first, They had three days. The first day was the f first part of the hog processing and the second day was the second part of the hog processing. I ended up just going to the third part because I actually got invited to speak in front of a bunch of people about how to grow a giant pumpkin and that was really fun. I'll put some highlights right here. This is Jack with Grow Jack Outdoors, one of my buddies. He's an avid outdoorsman, willing to try and learn just about anything. Remember a local 4-H, right? He's the one that names his biggest pumpkins after me. Remember? Yeah. Yep. Uh, he's learning a lot about tracking and trapping. So this is a funny story. I made a video. I got a coyote problem. Does a coyote tap? And you use something strange, doesn't you catch it? And a mole that I caught in a goat there's a mole you caught in a gopher trap to trap a coyote. Yeah. So I was having trouble trapping a coyote, and I was high on the bait and all the lure, and the kid catches a mole, and he catches a coyote. It's like working up the food chain. I'm buying all this high dollar bait and lure. And then, for subscribers, I wonder if you guys are like, why don't you go watch Crowjack? Aren't you friends? <laughs> yeah, thanks. But anyway, these are just a few of his hobbies. And did we mention, he grows giant pumpkins. So like Chad said, my name is Jack from Grow Jack Outdoors and I grow giant pumpkins, watermelons, and tomatoes and I got some slides up here to show you what I'm talking about and I'll show you pictures of some of my biggest produce. So on the right here, or on the left here, is my biggest pumpkin weighing in at 494 pounds and on the right is my second biggest pumpkin weighing 258 pounds. And this is the picture of all my big watermelons. The one in front of me is actually Chad. So <laughs> it weighed 180 pounds. And here is me, my dad, and my brother holding tomatoes and my brother has two cucumbers in his hand. My tomato weighed two pounds and my dad's tomato weighed just under two pounds. And now we're going to get into how to grow giant pumpkins and this is going to hit the basics because I can talk for days on how to grow pumpkins so let's get started. So first off, we have to get good seed genetics. You need to have good seed genetics no matter what your goal is in gardening. Either you want to have a plant that produces a lot of produce or a plant that produces giant produce. You have to have good seed genetics. In this picture is an example. The seed on the left here is a regular pumpkin seed. The seed on the right is a giant pumpkin seed. You can see the size difference. Now we're going to talk about planting, and there's a thousand different ways on how to plant your seeds. Daniel from Our Family Homestead is actually going to be doing a presentation about how he plants his seeds. He uses the soil walk method. It works really good for just your small garden plants, but it doesn't work so good for your giant plants. You're saying Daniel's wrong. No, Daniel's No, no, no. no. Daniel's right for the small plants. <laughs> but I'm just going to go over the basics of how I plant mine. So first, like I said, you got to get your good seed genetics. When I take my seeds and I file the edges so it will help the plant shed the seed when it sprouts. 
And here's a picture of a seed that I followed correctly. It will stop when it gets looking like that. And here's a seed that I filed too far down, and you can see that it got into like the middle of the seed, which harms this plant, and it probably won't germinate. Oh, I oh I never finished on how to plant your um, seeds. So I take those seeds once I got a file, I soak them in peroxide for 30 minutes, and I take them with my um, Pearl mix, garden mix, I buy it from Walmart. I take it and put it in there about an inch down. And I take saran wrap, cover my pot, so it will hold moisture and just help it get watered. So you almost have like a little greenhouse effect. Yep. Perfect. One thing I forgot to mention, I'll take my Pearl mix and I'll put water in it. And I'll put as much water as it needs and I'll take my hand, grab the hand, Oil and I'll grab it until it squeezes one drop. And if it has too many drops, that's too much water, and you'll have, have to add more soil. Now we're going to talk about um, soil samples. And in my hands right here is a soil sample probe that I actually built myself. And you just go to your garden and you take probes about six or seven, as much as you want all throughout your garden and you put it in a bucket and mix it up and then we'll put it in a bag and send it to a soil scientist. And I'll give you what's that dad? Yeah. Oh no it's not dad we send it to a special soil scientist and and um, we'll usually give you a list of amendments that you need to put in your soil, so we'll buy all those amendments and put them in our pumpkin patch. Now, as you can see, we've skipped a few steps. Our plant is now matured, planted in the pumpkin patch in the amended soil, and you're ready to grow a giant pumpkin. And now you have a big plant that you have to worry about organizing. I'm not, getting, I'm not going to get into the details of how to organize your plants, but I'll give you two reasons why you should organize your plants. So the first reason is it's going to take 800 to 1,000 square feet to grow this pumpkin, and you're going to want to utilize as much space as you can, so that's one reason to have your plant organized. And the second reason is to, so you're going to have to look at your plants. You're going to be looking for bugs, mildew, mold, anything that can harm your plant. And since I haven't mentioned this, you're going to pick one pumpkin that you grow probably 10 foot out from the um, stump, and then you're going to set that pumpkin. You're going to not let it grow any other pumpkin. So you're going to have to walk around your plant, look for bugs and stuff, and look for other pumpkins that it's trying to grow. So you don't want to grow more than one pumpkin. And as you can see in this picture, this is what my brother and I like. I think it's supposed to be weighing at 194 pounds. And as you can see at the bottom, the leaves are starting to die. And that's for a mildew. It's really heartbreaking when that happens. And it's not just that pumpkin. It's going to pop way bigger, but the plant died on me. So. That's two of me, just to clarify. <laughs> you name that one Chad Chad. <laughs> So here's my last slide, this is me and my dad, my, my two pumpkins, my harvest for the year, and it's really rewarding when you get through it. Everything wants to kill your plant when you get it planted, but it's really rewarding when you get through it. And the one on the left is actually, it weighed 258 pounds, I think, and it actually won a Howard Bill Award. And the Halloween Bill Award is a reward for the prettiest pumpkin. So, as you can see, it's really bright green. And the one by my dad is, like I said, weighed 494 pounds. So this one here on this side was 258. Yep. 494 over there. Yep. Man, that's huge. So I was in a pumpkin growing contest once with hospital. Oh, yeah. And I actually emailed you and asked for some seeds and wasn't going to tell Haas that they were your special seeds. 
but I still didn't get like a 10 pound pump. I mean, I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, don't feel bad because that. I don't. This is, but thanks. This is actually two years ago, and last year I didn't have such a good year. I only got half But a lot of it depends on climate, right? You really got to babysit it. Yeah. yeah. Now, did you learn, how'd you learn all this? You were just like, hey, I'm just going to go plant this, see what happens. So, I've watched a lot of videos, and Daniel's one of my gardening mentors. He didn't really do any of this, and I thought it would be cool to ask him about it. And Liam helped me out a lot. Mm -hmm. Her name is Leon. He has a YouTube channel if you guys want to go check it out. So Mr. Arms, we'll see here in a little bit, Coach oh, yeah. Inspire Jet and then Guardian with Leon. Both yep. have channels, of course. Yep. Cool. And there's a guy local, Brian Baker, and he actually has a YouTube channel too. And he actually helped me a lot. I went over to his house probably, I think it was three summers ago, and he taught me all the basics on how to play Jack and he really got me started on how to play Jack. Jack has a YouTube channel. And are you on Facebook too? Um, yeah. I knew the answer I wanted. Yeah. Right. Facebook and YouTube, you can look him up. You can look up Guardian with Leon as well, one of his mentors. Of course, Daniel will be up here later. Yeah. But, man, what a, having three boys, that's what's, that's what's cool is, my oldest is a gamer, but it's so cool to see the younger generation come up and want to do that stuff. And as y'all know, we just secured some land, so the other day, my oldest who's a gamer was outside for like three hours, never touched his phone, it was awesome. It's because I hit his phone. <laughs> I pay for the phone, so technically it's mine. But it's just so cool, and Jack is always so kind everywhere we go, and bump into him, and just, it's awesome. So give Jack a round of applause. Make sure you please go follow him. Yeah. So yeah, that was pretty fun. And I also got to meet some YouTubers. A lot of them I've already met before at different meetups and stuff, but there's one I haven't met before and it was Cog Hill Farm, Jason from Cog Hill Farm. And he's a really, he's a really nice guy and he's pretty funny. So he actually danced in front of everybody. You get, might may know him as a dancing farmer and I'll put a clip of him dancing right here. Yeah, I think that clip was up and down, so sorry about that, but I just had to put that in there. That was really funny. Sorry if I let, left you out. I met so many fans, I can't even count. I took several pictures, and it was just a really fun time. So now, I'm going to fill you in on some stuff. I actually planted my giant pumpkins and my giant watermelons the other day, and they're right over here. And... Some of them aren't looking too good. I need to put some more soil in there. And then the pumpkins are not looking too good either. I don't know what's happening. And that one's like twisted up. I don't know what's happening, but my, most of my watermelons are looking good though. So there's that. Now I'm gonna go gather some soil and we're gonna plant our giant tomatoes.
right, guys. Well, I just sat here and talked to the camera for about five minutes. And the camera wasn't running, so <laughs> I just sat here talking to myself. Something just fell off a shelf, but anyways, I got my soil. I put it in a five gallon bucket, as you can see here, and I put as much water as it needed until I could grab a handful of soil, and when I squeezed it, one drop of water would come out. Then I got my five pots, as you can see here, and I filled those all up with soil. And now we are ready to plant our giant tomato plants. So there you go. Can't believe I messed up like that, but it's all right. I'm actually gonna grab a Sharpie and write on these. The first one I'm gonna plant is a 4.46 LaRue. Okay, so I'll set these all aside. I have my um, pot marked on. Oh, I actually need to add the date. Today is the 27th, I think. Is that right? Yep, today's the 27th. So, 3, 27, 22. All right. All right, now, this is the only seed I have of this. So, take this. You don't want to drop these seeds because you'll have a hard time finding them. These seeds are just real small. I'm going to put it just right over the sur under the surface. Right there. Make sure you don't have any big chunks of wood over your plant. Set that aside. All right, guys. While I'm planting these, I want to tell you something about another thing I want to do. And it's something to do with somebody at the Oki Homesteading Expo. And like I said earlier, I met Jason from Coghill Farm. And he actually has a emu named Nugget. And I want to get a emu. And I just talked to my mom about it. And she said, you're not getting an email. So, I have a job for you guys. You have to go down there in the comments and say, Mom, let Jack get an email. Okay? That's your one job. Say, J Mom, let Jack get an email. I want to see it all over down there in the comments, so... Get her talked into doing it. All right, next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab some saran wrap. I'm actually going to... I hate this box. I always just take it out. I'm gonna peel a piece like that. I know it's not pretty, but it'll work. Put it over my pot. Take a rubber band. These are actually left over from extras that we bought when we were gonna blow that watermelon up with the rubber bands. These didn't actually fit around the watermelon, so. <laughs> Put it over just like that. And we're done. And then I'll set those on a heating pad inside in my room. And they'll be ready to go. And you don't need a heating pad. I just like it. It just helps it. So I'm going to get these all done. And I'll see you here in a minute. All right, guys. I got all the plants with saran wrap over them. Well, they're not plants yet. But the, the seeds, here they are. They're in my bedroom. And... You can see these tomato plants up here 
They're leaning over because I just rotated them. Those are actually my dad's giant tomato plants. He started his before mine. I'm just now starting mine. So here's the ones that we just planted. Five of them on my heating pad. It's just starting to heat up. Should stay around 80 degrees or something like that. So that's really good. Now all we have to do is wait. But we're not going to do that on this video. Because that would take way too long. And that's actually going to be the end of today's video. And don't forget... I can't say it very loudly because my mom is right in the other room. Don't forget to go comment. Mom, let Jack get an email. <laughs> well, comment that if you want to see that content. That would be pretty cool. We got to get mom talked into it first. So, guys, go down there, ring the notification bell, like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you in the next video.